You better believe it. Oh, so. Urop, which always made me want to say the word porn, like mixed up letters of the word porn, but it's missing an N. It is so. missing an N. Well, that's your your fault. It's an upside down N. There you go. That'll have to do, right? All right. So. Uh, if you are, all, are ready, I believe at the end of last session, we ended uh, with you remaining uh, in your current location, a prisoner of yours uh, slain, murdered in their bound, helpless state. Um, and so you awake at the edge of the Dark Lake, having finished a long rest. Um, still a thick uh, smell of blood kind of lingering in the shelter that you're in because um, I don't believe you guys like moved the body if I remember right uh, I think we put it in the lake did you thought we, we didn't want to track anything from the lake so we oh that's right uh, far away. Or I thought we destroyed it. Either way, the scent of blood still lingers a little bit. Um, dark, assuming if the body's not there, dark stain on the rock. Um, everybody kind of wakes, a uh, little tense, shifty kind of glances passing amongst all of the individuals here. Everybody kind of wondering who the murderer might be and how would you like to proceed with your day um shimshar uh, says you know um kind of assures everybody that um or sorry sarah shimshar is the the guy that got cut up um sarah kind of lets everybody know that you know he feel you guys should be maybe a day out from um Slubludop Libidadooda let's just get to Shimbadap and get get out of here go our separate ways alright um so you set out for the morning uh how do you want to travel are you you have kind of two possibilities you can either the easiest route would to be to travel along the edge of the dark lake until you kind of, as best you can until you reach um uh slop blue doop dop um or you can kind of go, like, try to go navigate through the caverns um, away from the, like, kind of, you know, a little bit of ways away from the Dark Lake. Um, and then cut back down um, once you're closer. Both sound dangerous, but I think if we're going to yeah. be moving with his uh, light source, probably best not to be on open water. Well, so, like, not in the lake necessarily, but, like... Well, round it. <laughs> sure. A ship, a ship it. on the lake could be watching us from a mile away if we've got a light source right on the edge. Yeah. So I would say if you wanted... So, like, near the edge of the lake, um, I will say that Vrosh would have an easier time traveling without light. Um as opposed to, say, like, through caverns. Because of the reflective surface of the oven. Well, no, more just that it's... Like, you still would need someone to have help you, like, guide you, but you're not, like, going around twists and turns. It's a little smoother here. That kind That's of thing. I'll, I'll leave it up to the party's consensus at this point, but yeah, I'm if, down for whatever. If, if it gets us there quickly, I'll go without light for the time being. 
So I would say it's probably you would travel slower without the light, but the uh, it is more straightforward to travel along the dark Great Lake than through the caverns. So it would probably take you about the same amount of time. Uh, <coughs> Sareth, which one would you recommend? Uh, so he, I mean, he says there's a much smaller chance of us getting lost along the dark lake as opposed to traveling through caverns sounds good but it's just hard to say there, it's hard to say, say which is riskier yeah. prepare yourselves for combat uh keep your eyes always kind of I'm, i presume are we walking like to our left along the lake so the lake edge will be to, on our right uh so the lake edge will be on your left hmm. and okay then, so we're going counterclockwise around this lake. Correct. Okay. Okay. So and and um as you kind of see it now, like it's called the Dark Lake, but it's not necessarily um you, it's it's hard to explain, but it's not necessarily a continuous body of water. So you can't think of it as a giant round puddle that is like you just walk around there are some parts of the dark lake where you could get to that are completely submerged there's other Uh parts that are all dry land there's so like it's more an area than a um a single body of water okay Um, but it is pro predominantly covered um like it it is it is all attached in some way or another if you travel long enough, right? So you could take a ship and kind of get to wherever you needed to go to, or a boat. There's, I don't know that you'd really sail a ship, but like a raft or something like that, you know? So anyway. Yeah, I never thought of that. Wouldn't boats down here not have any sails? Right. There's no wind. Or driven. Mm-hmm. Unless they're magic somehow. Right. So it would all be paddled or... or or like the like uh was it those boats in Italy where you like an abel like a gondola gondola yeah yeah yeah, yeah. an stick. abel is strapped to the bottom yeah okay. good luck with that <laughs> summoned water elementals <laughs> you, yeah water elementals or I mean you better off with maybe Kuatoa than an abelith pulling it right but yeah either way some water denizen okay right, well, let's, uh, let's go. All right, so you begin your trip. Um, Cars, go ahead and give me a survival check as you help Sarath here. Can I guide him? Sure. Add a d4, please. Gladly. Hey. Nice, 15. All right, so you um, kind of make your way, and Sarah seems a little distracted, but you're able to kind of like keep him focused as you travel along. Um, are you guys? Uh, it's a little bit more open here. How do you guys want to be traveling? So I'm assuming cars and Sarah are kind of out in the front, you know, uh, I, traveling. I would recommend not being too close to the water, so something can just jump out and pull us in. Sure. But I know I would, we're limited by the terrain. And I'd also say two by two instead of single file if possible, so we can't like sure. somebody I, can't like get pulled would, back. Yeah. Alright. Um and then Alright, so you Who's travel the in the middle. Yeah. Um so you guys travel kind of in a in a line two by two for the most part. Uh, Vrosh, if you're like standing in the middle, you could um, have your hands on, you know, maybe Prince Durendil or or uh, Dur- Drotar or something to kind of have them give you a general, like, kind of guide you, you know, as a walking stick if you want, or you can use light up to you. I will, for the moment, uh, see how just following along in the dark goes. Okay. Um, some time goes by uh, I would say I guess cars again go ahead as you kind of leading the group 
Uh, and really, uh, I would say anybody. So cars and are up. Go ahead and make um, perception checks. Am I D Ford? Oh, baby. No. Wow. But, um, so, Urop, as you're traveling along, you kind of glance to the side and you see just kind of like um, a shadow across the body of water. Uh, it's kind of a weird shape. And as you kind of look longer, you're like, well, maybe it's just like slag, slagmite or a slagtite or something. And, um, but you look longer and it seems to move a little bit ever so slightly across the top of the water. And it's like a small, you recognize there's like a small form moving on top of what looks like to be like a little floating top platform. And you can see there appears to be, um, I don't know, maybe 50... 50 to 80 feet into the like the middle of the water here um there appears to be like a little boat um with a small humanoid looking figure on top of it so to clarify we're walking along i see what looks like a canoe or a platform of some sort with kind of a stooped humanoid and that's all i see uh you you would see that it is so it's pretty far so like uh i'd say you are you know you're traveling you're not trying to travel right up on the water at this point you're able to be you know maybe 50 feet away um from the edge of the wa water and they're at least another 50 to um 80 feet out into the water like the middle of the water here uh, uh i i slow down kind of put my hands out and hopefully stop some people behind me and i walk over to stool and i kind of tap him on the head and spore spore all right he he spores out and i say everybody hunch down and look do you see out there on the water sorry brush um do you see out there on the water that shape where the little bit of light we can see isn't reflected See how it um, moves? Can I get, like, if I point it out to everybody, can I show them? Yeah, yeah. So you kind of, like, point it out to everybody, and they can they can see um, this seemingly, like, uh, it's not hunched. It's, like, moving around in the boat, almost like it's, like, you see it kind of, like, go to one side. It kind of, like, stoops over. Then it kind of, like, stands up and, like, moves to the, um, the front side and, like, kind of, like, stoops over and, like, it, Best you can tell, it's like keeps peering into the water. Like it's, um, it's probably, it's probably, um, Jim Jar or Buppetos size. Um, so probably. it's a Duragar. Yeah, uh, you can't. You could like go up to closer to the water's edge nope, so that you're I'm good. closer and you'd be able to see better. Um, but it it doesn't appear to be as stocky. Like it is about the same height. Uh, it's actually shorter than a Duragar. It's um, nerd of a dead blem uh, or whatever they're called. But um, deep gnome. Yeah. Um, and actually, uh, yeah, it's about the same same height of a as a deep gnome. Uh, I look, or I mental air fart over to Sareth and I say, can we keep going? Should we wait until they leave? What do you recommend? How far she out? just kind of shrugs. Like 50 feet out into the water. Oh, so fairly close. I was thinking like a couple hundred yards. Like probably just uh, just around to where like you would assume the water starts to get pretty deep. I say we continue, but we do so stealthily. Yeah, until we're out of sight, maybe. I, I mean, our goal, our main goal, is not to make friends, is not to find treasure. Our main goal is to get to this town. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool, cool. Just prepared that map for nothing. You. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Um, 
so you continue on. Uh, go ahead and just uh, make uh, stealth checks for me. Whole party? I, uh, yeah, everybody Everybody can go ahead and make a stealth check. Ugh. Loud feet. Super sneaky. Uh, hello? Roll? There we go. Oh, no. Alright. Well, looks roll, like you prepared that okay. map for a reason. Uh, two, six, seven. Maybe? Let's see here. Sorry. The real question is, is this, is this a party check or is this a just general Vrosh trips and falls <laughs> and so, the water. knock so you guys... the helmet down a well? <laughs> you guys are kind of moving along and um, Rosh trips a little bit but with his hand kind of on um, uh, Drotar and um, Prince Grendel's kind of like right there so you like trip and you put your other hand out and you're able to steady yourself before completely face, face planting um, you um you kind of look to see if you've been seen and um you the whatever it is seems pretty focused on whatever like you can see it's kind of still looking over it appears to be like looking over into the water or something um it doesn't seem to have have noticed you were passing um so continue on yeah, air part out. Let's go. Um, hey, sorry, I was just trying to readjust my planning. Um, so then <laughs> you travel on a little ways longer, probably go through for about four hours. Um, you um, stop, take a little rest. Sarath kind of gathers himself and he kind of nods as he's like looking around at some of the passageways that lead off um, back into away from the, the Dark Lake and he says um, uh, you know uh, I uh, that he is he's like it's it's not much longer now maybe three four hours um, I, I recognize this area um, we, we should be there soon. So uh, as we're as we're walking, can we still whisper, talk to each other? Mm -hmm. I think we sure. need to have some kind of a plan as we walk into this town. Uh, yeah, I get it. They have a lot of people that come from all over, but there's a number of us that are not, um, you know, under dark dwellers. That will be big fat prizes, and so. We've said it before, we all survive better if we are able to stick together. So do we have a plan? Are we splitting up? We get to the town and then what? We all go our separate ways and our survival rate drops? What? What is it that we want to do? Find the nearest exit to the Underdark and leave here. That sounds good to me. <laughs> I'm tired of this place. Surely they must know where some some actual exit to the surfaces. I say we stick together till we get out of this hellhole. Maybe the common slave races we pretend are slaves tie you up. Let me enter. Sure, there's laws about not taking another person's slave. Sorry. What about, uh, do we feel responsible for getting Stool back to his people? He's a kid. Sarah kind of nods.
oh boy, gosh, that would be really great if you could get me back to my, you know, never like Grove. They could probably help you get out of here if you need it. You know, the the the, the Grove Masters are are very wise. They can, you know, they can help you out here. Well, if they can get us out, I'm all for it. I yeah, just don't. Sure I just don't think we we don't have equipment. We don't even have enough water skins for all of us right now. I, I mean, are we pooling our money and outfitting ourselves as a group? Are we... You have money? I, That's what I sub recommend. We have things we can sell. I I recommend that as well. Um, <clears throat> Bupido? Durendil, what are you thinking? Uh... Durendal, uh, I would love to get back to my homeland and my kingdom. I'm sure my father and sister are worried sick about me. Where is that? Place I told you before. I got uh, it. Hold I on. I have um, to look it up. Oh, okay. He he's talked us to yeah, yeah. To us about it. Got it. The kingdom of Nelrindenvain. Nelrindenvain. Yes. Say that yes. five times fast. That he place. is. He is the prince of Nelrindenvain in the high forest, and he was cursed by an evil wizard. Tragedy, really. Uh, how far are we from Grackelstaw? Um. So Bupido says he wants to get back to Grackelstar. Um, Grackelstar. Had that note. God, these uh, you're gonna have a mouthful of water or a mouthful of rocks to say them. Yep. At least they keep in line with the primary residence there. Why uh, does he want to go to Grackelstar? Bupido, says, why do you want to go to Grackelstar? It's where I'm from. That's where. Despite the oppression of the Duragar, us Darrow have a fine colony there. Even and we are slaves. Uh, Stool, you said you had a friend there as well, right? Rumpadump? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Rumpadump's there. Who's that? Oh, he, he's uh, another uh, Myconid. Yeah. Is he a slave yeah. as well? Like no, war? no, no. He's uh, I don't know. He said he was going to Grackelstar to, to see what uh, you know, explore a little bit. Oh. Uh, he could get us back to Neverlight Grove. I'm sure there's some some others there that will want to come and to the Grove. So in my mind, priorities would be we need to buy basic survival equipment for ourselves. We need to buy. Preferably water skins that are big enough to where we can each hold a gallon, because right now our water skins can only hold half a gallon a day. And then the general equipment. We really, really need a map, because yep. we have no idea where anything is. Yeah. We're all agreed go there and refit, correct? Yep. And then from there, once we get into town, likely we'll have people that will approach us because we're unique characters. But we've got points of interest would be Grackle Grackle-Staw for Stool or Bupido. Stool also is interested in going to the Neverlight Grove. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, Sarath has expressed interest in going there as well. Sarath is interested in Neverlight Grove. What does Grove. he know about the place? Nothing. He is just... Uh, everything that Stool has said about it, he, does he, he wants to get to school there, or? and he sound, it sounds... Is he familiar paradise. with Grackle Mall? Uh, Grackle, Grackle, Grackle Star? Yeah, he he's aware of it. He's never been the, He's never been there uh, specifically. Um, he know but he's a, he's aware of it. Does he know where that is in relation to Schluplo, Schlapa Blop? And yeah, the, it's about the, uh, so it's you would continue counterclockwise around the Dark Lake. Oh, it's all on the and dark what, every He says all the big, so like the 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 big cities um, are uh, generally are around the Dark Lake. That makes sense. 
All right, we'll figure um, it out when we get a map. The only other place that we could consider, which might bear some fruit for us, would be Gontelgrim. You know that dwarf girl that sacrificed herself for our survival? She was... Uh, her name was Eldith. I know, yeah. Uh, she said that that place is led by King Battlehammer. I don't know her relation, but if they're dwarves, they might want to know that one of their dwarven kin has fallen. They might reward us for that information. At least they're not, you know, dwarves are underdark and surface dwellers. They might have a pathway out as well. Because it's a city citadel. So it's well established. They would most likely know how to get to the surface along safe sorts of passageways. If they don't kill us on sight. Sure. I, th- I thumb to me and uh, the Duro and. And Sareth. Oh, definitely Sareth, yeah. I think it's um, good to think about our future, but we also really just need to focus on the survival of now. Yeah, fair, we're counting, we're counting like a couple chickens here. Let's play to our strengths and just live, and then we'll figure out where we're going to go. Great. Lead on. Fine. There we go. I, I, I do have one more thing. Uh, can I? Do I remember? I mean, I'm an elf. This Prince Durendal is saying he's an elf. Have I ever heard of the kingdom he's talking about? Nelrindenvain? Make a history check. You, I mean, elves have a lot of strange named cities, and often they sound similar. You, maybe? Okay. You're not sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, um, you continue on. Um, travel gets uh, you have less room um, occasionally now as you kind of go past the uh, the dark lake you enter an area um, where you have to go through um, some tunnels and caverns um, uh, do you uh, so it would be a little sl- if you want to use light you can it will be a lot slower without it when you go through these sections um but like you go through some and then you kind of come back out and the dark lake kind of like it opens up a little bit some sections you have a lot more room between you and the rest of the underdark between you um like where it's i guess some areas have a lot more quote unquote beach than others um about oh uh so you guys are kind of still probably you said traveling to a breast ish mm-hmm. um so I, you guys kind of continue continue traveling on um and you kind of get to an area where you've probably only got like um uh Sarah kind of looks around and goes uh, kind of there's an area where you see like a number of opening tunnels coming from the underdark side I mean it's all the underdark but from like the cavernous side um, and you're kind of like on a maybe I don't know 50 foot of beach area between these tunnel openings and the water um, and Sarah kind of looks around and nods and um, says should only be about an hour hour away or so now um as he kind of like turns and talks to you you guys um continue start continuing on your way um and um out of one of the tunnels to the north a um a fish 
creature. Um, Hakuatoa kind of steps down and out in front of your path. Um, and in kind of a burbly undercommon, um, says, uh, halt, stop right there. Uh, and try to see what he does with you. Um, so he's got like this one. Uh, he seems pretty uh, large. He's got um, like a little, like, uh, seems to have like some nets like flung over his back. Um, but he kind of stands in front of you, um, kind of down. Um, kind of blocking your way moving forward. We've been going along the uh, side. We'd be, we would be going directly in his direction. Yeah, so you would be traveling this way. Very not bright arrow. Uh, that direction. ready my weapons and kind of as he says that you see um a couple other fish people kind of filtering out from the um tunnels above you he says uh you're you're coming with us uh, fireball on him? The big one. Okay. Firebolt or fireball? I wish I had fireball. <laughs> well, you said fireball. That's why I was curious. Um, all right. Uh, go ahead and we will go into group uh, to initiative here. Uh, anyone Ooh. using... Uh, D and D Beyond, please oh, go ahead and roll your initiative. Way. None of those are gonna hit. Um. So let's see. Oh, did you already roll initiative for everybody? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine. I rolled it again. How dare you? Um. Uh, Kuatoa. Uh, patrol found us. Uh huh. Correct. They, it's almost like they, they, more than they found you, it seems like they've been kind of set up here waiting for anyone, anything to kind of travel this direction. Um, and Zareth had said you're only maybe about an hour outside of their town. Yep. So, <laughs> um, Sorry. Yeah, your firebolt misses. But so you kind of just launch this thing, and he kind of and kind of points in your direction and yells, "Take them!" Um, I'll let you go ahead and act again, cars. Well, yeah, you had originally rolled me uh, at the bottom, and I had accidentally oh. hit my oh, okay. own initiative, um, so you can bump me to two point one three. You are point one three. You have a higher dex. You have at least a two dex, right? You rolled a natural one. one. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't know why it says point two point one three when my dex is twelve. Yeah, but the the point one it should do like a dex tiebreaker. Um. Uh, Jim Jars says. Uh, oh boy. Um, uh, he's going to delay and see what you guys do. So he will go after Rob. Oh, Drotar's not doing anything, right? I'm here. Uh, Drotar's here. Uh, oh, cool. Good. The music. I mean, are we doing this? 
Well, I mean, Cars just fired a firebolt at the main guy. Or at this, this guy, guy. Right? Yeah, yeah. The first guy. Uh, of course he did. So, whether you're doing it or not. Oh, crappy combat. I tried to get some new music. What you doing there? Trotar. Um I guess we're throwing down. Mm hmm How are you doing so? Ooh, that little guy. Ooh. Ouch. The hits. Um, I guess I'm going to end my turn here. Okay. Oh, I thought that would be higher. Oh, uh, that's why. Okay. Um, uh, Rob. I reach out uh, and look at my party members and two people uh, in my party who will be Vrosh and Cars. Um, each have emboldening bonds that can use a d4 on ability checks, attack rolls, or saving throws for the next 10 minutes. And then for my bonus action, I will... Let me see... What is this too? Uh, yeah, I walk over to Stool and I lay a hand on him and I look at the back of my shield, look at my holy symbol, and I'm going to cast... Um, sanctuary on him, which will give him the following. Ah, shit, I forgot we have our holy symbols. Oops. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Yep, okay. Um, and that's it. What the hell? Is that a concentration a spell? A sanctuary? It is not, is it? It is not. Nice. Right, uh, Jim Jar is going to. He will hand cross though. Getting low on these, but a hit. He hits this guy in the back here for six. Uh, this guy here. Is going to. Going to move up to Drotar because he's within range. Going to make a bite attack against you for a 13 to hit. Nope. Because unfortunately, they don't have pack tag tactics. And then he's going to swipe out with these like webbed claw hands. Um. So 25 to hit. Yeah, that connects. And a 22 to hit. You take Jeez. a total of 16 13 bludgeoning and three lightning. Yeah. Whoa. That was spicy. Um. Stool just kind of cowers next to you, flips over, and puts his shield butt to the air to try to yeah. block stuff coming in. Uh, Brosh. You hear combat going on about you, but currently do not have a light source. All right, I'd like to uh, drop my cell. Well, how about this? Um, 
I'm gonna hold action until after cars. Is that okay? Sure. All right, so I'll drop myself till after cars. Okay. Uh, Prince Drendel will rush up here. That far. Yeah. Um, he will claw and claw. First one misses, but the second one hits. Uh, and that hurts. Um, all right, Kuatoa. So this one in front of you, Drotar, is going to go ahead and he is going to. Um, he's going to go ahead and hit you with his spear. He can certainly try. His spear. Um, wait. All right. Uh, and then let's see. The one at Perens Durendil will also hit with his spear. 12. Which does not hit him either. Um, this one's going to come over to gang up on him. It does hit. Uh, right here. 30. So he will move here. Actually, he'll move. Move to here, and he's going to throw a net at Jim Jar, uh, which hits. So Jim Jar is restrained. Um, you then see um, a number of Kuatoa cool. uh, come up out of the water. Um, mm. That only the one will get an attack against Zareth for 13. I don't actually think that hits him. No, that misses him. All right. Zareth uh, gets to go. Uh, since he's in melee range, he is going to go ahead and use his short sword for 12 that misses uh, you see him go and he strikes out at this Kuatoa um, and the Kuatoa raises its shield um, to block his blow um, and you see for a second as the sword um Sarah's sword kind of hits the shield and it takes him, he has to uh, it like gets stuck to the shield and he has to wrench it away um, and it's got like a, some kind of like sticky residue on it as he pulls it away from the shield um Bupido, uh is going to go ahead and and crossbow as well. Uh, Kuato raises his shield and blocks it. Cars, you are up. Oh, All right. Well, gosh. Did you get removed? Couple options somehow? here. Uh, no, I'm still. I'm 16. We gotta kill this leader. 
So I'll move here. You're going after cars, right? Get yeah, flanky like spank. And smack. Okay. Smack away. Uh, that hits. Is he dead? Isn't that the Negative. first damage he's taken? Yes. Then he's I dead. will action surge. Okay. Ayo! Uh, make a second attack. We got uh, a full rest, by the way, right? I can yes. add a d4 to attacks. Four. Oh, I don't know. Uh, empowering bond? Uh, I, I believe so. Need four two attacks, yes. Yeah, so that <laughs> hits. So another seven. Um, so you see this uh, creature try to, like, dodge out of the way, and you're able to go ahead and land a couple blows against him. Uh, uh, anything else you want to do with your uh, bonus action? All I can do. Uh, is light a bonus action? Uh, let me check. Bells. It is Takes not. Action to cast, you looks like. Touch. Okay. But I, I've always this whole travel. I every time it runs out, I give him a new rock. So yeah, I but we've specifically them. not been using light. I understand that, but I always give him a rock to keep in his hands whenever the duration runs out. We've been doing it the whole time. I wouldn't change now. Uh, yeah, I, we, yeah, there was no light this time. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's it. a, yeah. I think that's a Mordenkainen's mystical watchdog moment. I don't think we have we not always given him the rock to hold in his hand and keep. Well, we specifically said we weren't going to use time, light. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Rush. Um, I will crouch down with flail in hand, and if anything I think comes near me that is an enemy, I will deal with it then, so I end my turn. Uh, Drotar. Uh, we got boss man flanked, so I'm gonna take a swing at him, I think. Okay. Nice. Nice. Hits. Okay. Uh, anything else? Uh, no. Also, the okay. green bar is not updating. It's not a huge deal, but how did we fix that last time? Don't know. It was cool. Working for me. Sounds good. Uh, or up. I would like to cast Bless on Vrash, Cars, and Drotar. So Vrash and Cars, you can add two D fours to your rolls, and Drotar, you can what? add one D four. They they stack. That's it the best stacks. part. Um, I don't think. Oh no, you can't. Never mind. I am in range. Yep. Uh, and I will just kind of stand interposing uh, over top of Stool, trying to protect Stool. And for my bonus action, I would like to uh, do nothing. Just sit there okay. and try and... I'm going to try and seem diminished. Like there are combatants, and I don't want to be seen as a combatant. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, in his restrained state, Jim Jar is going to try to go ahead and fire his little crossbow uh, he somehow manages to hit this guy for eight um, this guy here is oh, that's an interesting spot for him to be all right so he is going to go ahead and turn around to cars and hit you with a bite so an 11 to hit I believe misses, then an unarmed strike, a 19 to hit. 
and a 21 to hit. Oof. So... The... I think my shield will stop his 19. Uh, if you cast shield, yes, yeah, I believe that's I correct. Cast shield. All right, so you cast shield and block his first um, hand strike, but he seems to come at you even harder with the second one. Um, and you take uh, five bludgeoning and five lightning damage. Oof. Um, Duel's chillin', Durendil. Bada bing, bada boom. Just going after this guy in front of him. Um, Kuato, this dude's going to slide here. So you are, um, flanked. He's going to hit you, Drotar, with a spear for a 15? He will not. Um, these two are going to attack Prince Durandil here. So 20 and a two, so five. We'll take 10. Um, this dude will come up here. This guy is going to come here. Here, he is going to throw a net at you, cars, for twenty-one. So you are restrained. And these two around Prince Sarath are going to spear. So twenty-one, twenty-seven on Sarath. Um. And then this guy. here. This one will come up here. And it's a net at you, Urop, for a 17. 17 is my AC. So you are restrained, and one at Buppado for a 16, which he is also restrained. Um... Sarath, on his turn, kind of looks around. He sees Throsh being ineffective um, for ease of use. He's going to cast Dancing Lights above himself. Um, and I'm just going to have him do So you should have vision now? Yeah. He just like pops out some of uh, these balls of light that go above um, his head and kind of like float out in a wide circle above his head, um, giving you vision. Uh, Buffado is restrained. He is going to try to break out of his restraints and succeeds, so he is no longer restrained. Cars. Yes? Your turn. Smashy, smashy. Can I hit him from within the, the net? Uh-huh. It's at disadvantage, though. Oh. Just they try to break the net, too. dude. You have two D4s. You have two D4s to add as well. That is true. And I have uh, save face. So. <laughs> Let's do it. Attack. Uh, oh, I don't think two D4s is going to be enough. Don't know until you try. Two D4s will put you up to 16. It says rolling dice. I don't know if it's populated. Has not yet. Still says rolling dice. You can use the. Uh, I use the little. Yeah. Just not. I'll roll them individually. 
still says rolling dice. There we go. There's one, so four. Oh man. So those so those two those two D fours yeah. were my original roll. So so six. So still fourteen. That does hit. All right. Hey. So five. And uh, I can only action surge once. That's a rest. So yep. Okay. Uh, that's Bonus all action. I got. Bonus, all right. All right. Uh, Vrosh. All right. Now that I can mysteriously see, uh, let's see, Sarath is under attack. Gonna move to here, going to rage. Uh, Uh, I explode in shadowy tendrils. Cool. So thematically appropriate. What do those tendrils do? Anything? Mega hentai. (laughs) Every creature within 30 feet of me that I choose must make a con saving throw or take 1d12 necrotic damage. And I also (laughs) gain 1d12 temporary hit points. This is the best thing that could have happened. So Vrosh <laughs> is functionally immortal. <laughs> uh, okay, so con So it's only oh, one damage. No. One damage, but oh, okay. But I also only gain one hit temporary hit point. Wow. But wasn't it one for each that hits? Or was it just total? No, just, just total temporary oh. hit point. But it, what's Lay. the con save? Uh, con save is your con, maybe. It's eight plus proficiency bonus plus con mod, so that's ten. Uh, oh gosh, fourteen. What are these fourteen. Cool. All but two of them fail. So, uh, as these your tendrils just like lash out and freaking get everything. Okay, um, interesting. Um, smash. Go for it. Let's say 22. And add a 5 onto that. That did not... Jeez. Uh, it that, didn't add I mean, your that rage. Hits, yeah. That did Doesn't not matter. add your rage it hits, damage. It hits, it hits. Damage is what I was saying. Uh So that's what plus two. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was the thing. Uh, Drotar. I don't get you have bonus, bonus rage action. damage. Okay. You you rage as a bonus action. You don't get bonus rage damage. Okay. Oh, interesting. I thought that was an all barbarian thing. How's uh, Monitor Boy? Looking? He did. He did just get like. I, I did technically just damage. attack everyone around me. Yes, I just, essentially for twelve damage each hit. But, I was yeah. moving. I was moving past it. How's how's my other boy looking? Ah, uh, he's doing all right. That's concerning. Like he's he's got a couple cuts on him, but he's still standing, looking okay. Um, fishy. And Vrosh back and forth on his feet. Vrosh is blessed, right? Yes, I believe so. Yes, plus and Rush. bonded. Yep. Who did you target? Or up? Uh, Vrosh has no, with four, bless. You have... With bless. Who did you target? The three of you. The three PCs. Okay. Vrosh, Cars, Brotar. All right. Well, I'm just gonna bonk with the guy then. It's. Now he's looking a little bloody. Um, yeah, we we gonna do it. Why does that not roll? Oh, there it is. Hey! Okay. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, and... Yeah, that'll be my turn. Okay, um... I would like to... Hmm. 
Let's do some... I'm going to try and get out of this net. Okay. Strength saving throw, please. Strength save. Can I guide myself? Is that an action or a bonus action? I don't it's know. It's an action. I can't, I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. Uh, you managed to break free of the net. Okay, so I break free of the net. Uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to... Who have I seen be hit? Fleet like Cars, Prince Durandil, uh Drotar, How's Durandil and Zareth. I'd like to look at Cars and put my hand out and be like, it's going to be okay. As I... Heal him for five with healing word. Okay. You're better already. Uh, and, that's uh, you? That's all I'm going to do. Actually, hold on. Can you just... Okay. Yeah, easier action. Okay, just making sure it's not your turn. Full around. Um... Jim Jar is also restrained. He is going to also try to break free. But fails. So that's him. This dude is pretty pissed at both of you. He's going to go ahead and go after you, Drotar, because you just hit him pretty hard. So that is a bite. Eight. That sucks, but a 25 to hit on his unarmed strike. And a 23 to hit. Jesus. So you take 14 bludgeoning and 9 lightning. How are you feeling? That, that, using that, relentless that, endurance. That good, okay. <laughs> that good, okay. Okay, a stool is just puffing out spores. You see, oh, what's going on? Uh, help me! Prince Drendil is going to claw, claw, both miss. Kuatoas, this dude is going to attack you. Drotar with an 18 to hit. Eel. You go down. He takes out his spear. As you kind of stand back up, he flips it around and knocks you in the back of the head um, with his spear, uh, knocking you unconscious. Uh, but non-lethal damage. Um, this guy is going to come up here. Go ahead and attack you with his spear for a 10, which I believe misses. Uh, this guy is going to move in around Prince Durandil. These three are actually... He's going to just move uh, here. He's going to throw a net at Prince Durandil. Just catches him, so he is restrained. The other two are going to then poke him with spears for a 19 and a 22, so he takes 8. Um, this one is going to go out and pull out another net and throw it at you, Urop, for a nine. It kind of goes wide and it lands on top of um, a stool shield. The other two are going to stab at Sarath, a 20 and a 14, 17, because he's flanked. Both hit, and Sarath goes unconscious. This is not good. Uh, the 17 which shouldn't be a flank bonus, right? Why? Well, because uh, flank, I'm, flank, I'm, yeah. I'm no, flanking one fair. of them, so I negate one of their flanks. Well, I don't know which one is technically... One of them technically doesn't get a... Yeah, yeah. No, bonus, I, I agreed. So, and a 14 yeah. just a, misses him. A flanked, flanked person so, can't grant flanking. So. so he does not go down, which is good, because then your light source would have disappeared. Um... He threw his net, that missed. That's everybody there. Uh, in which case, Sarath is going to go ahead and attack. Oh, Prince Durendil actually needs to make... 
Uh, one of his claws gets stuck on uh, the Kuatoa's shield. No! Uh, <clears throat> there, this thing. Go ahead and short sword. Uh, I, uh... For a miss. And he will actually. Um. His sword also gets stuck. He like swings down at the Kuatoa in front of him, and it is it's blocked. And his sword also gets stuck there. Uh, Upido is going to go ahead and hand crossbow. Ooh, Ooh nice! Kills this Kuatoa. Uh, um, cars. Still trying to hit the boss. Go for it. Uh, I updated our adventurer's notes, so they should be much clearer now. Ooh, that hits. Uh, any bonus action or anything? I, I got nothing else I can do. Alright. Can you uh, second rush. wind or do you not need it? Can I what? Second wind or do you not need it? Uh, I'm okay right now. Alright. Cool. Smash. I don't know. Can I give it to someone else? No. no. Uh, so oh, I that agree, really? That's a fifteen. Yep, that hits. For seven. Yep. Okay. You're um, pretty bloody. I'm just gonna end my turn here and, and keep the, the counter flank. Can you not? Pedro Tar. Um, well, I was gonna ask. Can he not repulse his tendrils? But I don't know what to do. as I'm unconscious. I guess. Oh, yeah, so you're unconscious, sorry. Uh, so you're just unconscious, or up. Do I roll to see how long, or I guess it doesn't matter? Uh, it go ahead, matter. you can go ahead, roll a d4. It matters. Cool. Ready? Only 60 yeah. minutes. What you doing, or up? All a piece. So I'm gonna go 5, 10... Shit. I'm gonna provoke an attack of opportunity, but it's fine. 15, 20, 25. It says you don't. 30, 35. Oh, yeah, I don't! So I touch Jim Jar, Buppado, Stool, Serif, Rosh, Drotar, and Cars. They will all get nine points of healing from me. Okay. Cool, not cool. Very cool. So, uh, Drotar, you are back to nine. Yes, sir. Still prone, but and, I'm awake. Yep, so that is my action for my bonus action, actually. Um, I would like to... Let me see. Clear that. Clear that. Actions. Bonus action. Let's do some... Uh, I'm going to cast Sanctuary on Cars. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put that description in. I'm sorry, I didn't do that. Uh, there we go. So, anytime something attacks you, they have to make a wisdom save on a failed save. They have to choose a new target or they lose the spell. As soon as I attack, it pops, right? Yep, but okay. hopefully it can protect you from a round of waylaid. Turn, yeah. If I were standing next to you, Drotar, I would have done that to you. I apologize. All right, Jim no Jar tries to break his, his bonds. You see this, this guy gets mad and he yells. You see him grab a vial from his belt and chug it. Um... Well, he's going to talk at us. He has to put the liquid in his mouth first. Uh, so he he seems to look a little better. You dirty robots. Um, and he is going to kind of shout at you. Um, but you don't... Do you, sp you speak under common or not? I do. Yeah. Just tell this one 
Uh, so he's going to bite at you for a 19. That will hit. And unarmed strike. Oh, here comes the pain. 21. Yep. And a... Well, all right, seven. so then in a seven. Um, so you take the four bludgeoning and five lightning. Yep. I, oh, I should take... you can't take reactions until the end of his next turn. Yeah, that's really dirty. So I should take nine physical nine. damage and three yep. lightning. Five so lightning. Total. Five lightning. By five. Eight. Eight physical and five lightning. From four from the bite, the four bite. from the punch. Yeah. The oh, punch I see. I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong number. Yeah. Um. Then Tim stool nothing from Surrendil. Got to pull his claw free, which he just barely does. Uh, Kuatoa's. Uh, sorry. Um, this one is going to move over here. He is going to stab. Wisdom save. Thirteen. Does he still have sanctuary up, or can it only be on one thing at a time? I can do it on multiple creatures. I, it's not a concentration spell. He succeeds. Didn't uh, we strap a shield to stool? Yeah, yes. But it only gives him an AC of 12. Dang it. So stool is uh, very, very hurt. Um, Sarah. Nine but misses. Yeah, but 18 does hit. So Sarah goes down with a bump to the back of the head. Um, that's for time being um, but that does mean the lights go out um, but that's both of their turn these two on Prince Durendil so you get one hit so he takes two uh, Drotar be gentle Twenty to hit. Yep. And this one is going to slide to here. Actually, he doesn't have to. He's going to stay here. He is going to throw a net at you or up for a nineteen to hit. So you are restrained. Uh, Sarath is down. Papado. He is going to go ahead and shoot at this one. Um, for 12, that misses. Which goes Brutal. just wide and sticks to the shield. Cars. What you doing? More smacking. Sorry. Yep. Smacky, smacky. Remember to add 2d4. 2d4. Oh. <laughs> uh, so that misses. Uh, but he doesn't 14? have a shield. Huh? 14? 14. Oh, he's double flanked. Never mind. Sorry. He's netted. He's, he's a disadvantage. Yeah, I'm at disadvantage. Because he's restrained. Um, Brosh. You can no longer see, but there is the one Kuatoa that you are aware of in front of you that you've been hitting. Yep, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna assume he's still there, and I'm just gonna swing. Okay. Uh, hits. Uh, you actually. He also goes down. Um, so you just hear your flail just smack into the side of this thing with a sickening fish noise. 
Crunch. <laughs> Crunch. Mm, uh, nice. Drotar. Would like to stand up. And I feel like we've put way too much effort into killing Fish Boy to not take down Fish Boy, so I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Uh, am I still blessed, technically? Yes. Yeah, because I guess he didn't go down. Yet. Rude. <laughs> Does a 23 connect? Uh, you don't have advantage, son. Oh, right, because cars is. Alright, well, a d4 is not going to save that. Correct. Uh, um, anything else? Yes, actually. Maybe. Uh, nope, it's an action. I'm done. Okay. Um, right. I reach out with my hand and I touch Rotar on the arm and I say... Get us out of here. Who are you touching? Uh, Grotar? Oh, I can't. Uh, cars then. I touch cars and I say, cars, here, heal. And I say, I'm, protect us. He's at full health. I'm not hurt. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. But you don't uh, need to spend the spell slot. It's fine. No, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> um, fuck. Well, then, instead of cure wounds. You know who is very hurt and is not someone that is close to you is a stool. He's got like two HP. And are you going to be, are you going to be a dick? And if he goes down, he just insta dies. No, I don't do that. That's you. I know. (laughs) Um, (laughs) I'm going to cast healing word at second level on. Drotar. Okay. For a whopping five points of healing. Nice. That's my bonus action, and for my action, I'm going to uh, try and get rid of this net once more. So it's a strength yep. save? Yep. All right, uh, just a strength check, I think. Stupid net. Uh, strength check. Not a well, I didn't get it. Alrighty. Uh, Jim Jar also did not get it. This guy is going to go ahead and make a bite attack at you or up for five piercing. Yep, that hits. And an unarmed strike for another five damage. Yep, that hits. He's still up. Don't worry about it. And then another on arm strike for nine damage. Sixteen does not hit. You are restrained and he has advantage against you. Why? I don't like that. Why are we not getting out of our nets, people? Well, with that, I do go down. Cool. Uh, he did not use non-lethal damage on you. Yeah. Uh, because he can't control his lightning. And I hate you. Uh, <laughs> Stool in his in his fright is going to run forward and bump into the Kuatoa in front of him and fall back on his butt and not actually do any damage to him. Um, Prince Rendell, however, is looking around. He still has a claw stuck, but he frees it. Uh, but he does make attack with his other claw, so he hits this guy. He knocks down one of these Kuatoa. He freed his claw the last round. Did he? Yeah, he, he said he just did. He rolled an 11. Oh, that's right, that's right. Uh, so he will get a second attack. This other guy, but that does miss. Disadvantage. Uh, the Kuatoas. Uh, that one will definitely go ahead and stab Stool. He just kind of kicks him, and stool goes down, but no. not immediately. Uh, Sarath is gone. Buffado is a problem. Oh, the rest of the Kuto have to go. Uh, this one. No, they don't. Move up to Buffado. Well, if you move here, he is going to throw a net on Buffado. 
Okay, 19, that definitely hits. Buffalo is now restrained. This, um, Protar. 17 to hit you. Connects. Them, Bumpado is trained. Bumpado will try to get out. He does. Has that dwarven Bumpado strong boy. And Cars, you are up. Smashy. Go for it. Trying to kill this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Never mind. See you next time. Just year. saying, you could have cut yourself out of the net. Uh, I just had another net thrown on me then. Rush. They're gonna run out of nets at some point. Um, a lot of nets. I remember see, in combat there was another Kuatoa that was behind Sarath, so he would be maybe to my front. Can I sort of meander forward looking sure. for him? There's like the body of the Kuatoa you killed, kind of like in front of you. Uh, you can like kind of like step over it. Yeah, I know Sarath's body should be there as well. Yeah. Um, so just kind of moving, I guess, 10 feet south. Sure. Go ahead and make a perception check, I guess. An 18. So I'd say you can kind of sense where there's like another form next to you. Um, you reach out and you, like your hand brushes like a scaly, a scaly form. All right, was that an action to locate him? Uh, no, I'm going to do that kind of as a. Uh, we'll say it's a bonus action. All right, I swing then. Okay. Uh, that connects. Uh, so all the blesses are gone. Oh, are they? Okay. Yeah, because I'm down, down. Actually, okay. and that would be at disadvantage. So that would actually not hit. Sorry, because uh, right. it is My bad. dark. Um, Drotar. Unless you want to move more, Frosh. Nope, I'm um, gonna stay here. Don't seem to hit anything. All right, Drotar. Um, sorry. There's a fish boy still alive behind me. And how's this guy looking again? I'm sorry to ask that. Uh, he looks a little bloody. But a lot better than he did a little while ago. Stop! Such a villain. What? This motherfucker. Um, I'm going to, I guess, risk the opportunity attack from the fish. Okay. The one behind you? Correct. All right, I'm getting another beer, so. Okay. Antoine Dotson beer. All right. I went, I went real hard on these notes, I'm sorry. Uh, he misses you. Oh, yes, he does. Uh, Here we you, go. You are going to feel a half-orc reach down and pound you on the chest and say, you're not done yet. Get up. <laughs> you will take one lay on hand point of healing. Oh. One. Okay. Apply the changes. And... Uh, because this guy just won't die. I'm going to bonus action a thing. I'll find it and click it, otherwise I'm done. Okay. Uh, or up. You have a turn as you come into consciousness. Uh, as I... On the ground. Yeah, covered in net on the ground, feeling very badly. Um... And I'm going to point at the dude and say, you will join your friends in the dirt. Um. Well, what do I want to do? Uh, sh- 
fuck. Sorry. I'm just looking through my... Uh, I was not planning on being alive. <laughs> um, okay. Now that you are standing next to me, I would like to cast Cure Wounds on you, Drotar. For my final spell slot. Bold of you to announce that when the DM can hear you. 16 points of healing to you. Ooh, spicy. And I'd like to take half my movement to stand up. You don't <clears throat> have any movement. Oh, so I'm just under the net, trapped. I'm on the ground. Then I would like to... Uh, fuck. I would like to fuck. Um, bonus action, I'm just gonna... Yeah sit there and touch my holy symbol trying to pray to my deity for guidance. And the heart breaks free. Um... <laughs> he says as he reaches out to bite you or up on the ground for a <laughs> 26 to hit. What was that? How much? Again. 26 to hit for 8 damage. Okay. Is it 8 or 16? 8. Okay. I'm unconscious once more. Um, and then we'll lash two unarmed strikes at you, Drotar, for a... Ooh, lucky you don't have advantage against you. So a 16? Um, yeah, that hits. So nine points of damage total there, and another five on top of that. I'm glad I healed you. Me too. Why is he ignoring cars? He's just not threatening, I guess. Cars hasn't hit him. Yeah, cars. Bit. Be threatening, bro. Get your shit together. I'm trying. <laughs> Prince Durandil is going weakness. to try to go ham yes. on this guy. 19 and a 16. Both of those hit this dude. <clears throat> he, he gets turned into nice. pate, right? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Um... Gutoas, he's going to move. God, there's still four left. This sucks. Uh, he's going to throw his net on you. Uh, Trotar uh, misses. Uh, this other one's going to stab cars. For a 12. Also misses. He misses. Um, This one is going to throw a net at you, Brosh, for a 20. You are that restrained. Definitely would hit. And he is actually going to move away from you up to here. Uh, so you do get an uh, attack of opportunity. Um, okay. This is okay. Uh, that is them. Sarah, Bupido. Bupido. What are you doing, Bupido? He will. He is low on crossbow bolts. He is just going to be down here. And go ahead and short sword. Miss. Uh, he's going to make a strength. His sword gets stuck. Okay, cars. I cut out my through the net. Can I cut through the net? Um, that has AC ten and five yep. damage is required. Five slashing. Yep. Huzzah! Of course. Uh, you can't quite like get your sword in a way that lets you cut through the net. Been flailing your arms around outside the net for too long. Bonus action or anything? Nope. All I can do. There's nothing else I can do. Right. Frosh, you uh, find yourself covered in net. Try to rip out of it, whatever you this thing easily is. Easily just toss it off of you. Um.
do I can I roll to hear like where the, the majority of the fighting is going on at this point? Uh I mean you you saw Drotar and Kara's kind of up to the north of you. Yeah, I know they were to my back to my right. Are they does it still sound like they're fighting back there? Uh yeah. I move approximately here, stumbling around, trying not to trip over Seraph and the, the dead Kuatoa, or the unconscious Kuatoa, and uh, end my turn, because I don't have an action anyway. Um, okay. Last time I healed him, he just went down again. Um, is it my turn or is it yes sorry no I didn't know if there was like and then five more crawl out of the lake not yet why would you say that out loud so a 24 to hit boss man how do you have a 24 to hit the boss man you're not even because I vow of enmity oh uh, that's so right. I've got advantage sure. yes that hits hmm how's he looking I guess I can't know the answer to that before. Yeah, I, I think I kind of have to do it. Come on. Left. Dice don't fail me now. One. Hey, big number. Oh. Nice. Definitely did not like that. Oh, he's but he's still, still alive. Me. Oh, goody. Um, this is where cars pops up. Yeah, right. Or, uh... <laughs> Jim Jar is free. Hold on, hold on. Does I Earl a five. fail a death save? Yes, he does. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. You have a death save. Because he wasn't non lethal. Uh, Jim Jar goes. Jim Jar goes ham. Um, Dang. This guy here. <laughs> 14. Okay. Bet you can't roll just crits, Jim Jar. <laughs> Bet I'll save you all. Um. He is. He hates you. Uh, he is <laughs> going to go ahead and bite at you, Drotar, for a three. Oh, thank God you uh, missed the first one. Ten. And unarmed strike. Oh, that's the first oh. low roll he's had. Oh, God, he missed. Thank you. Yeah, fucking it man over here. Oh. Nine points of damage. Uh, stool, Prince Durendal is going to. Oh, he. Was he restrained? I thought the dude that netted him died, but does that I mean, make the, the net, net doesn't disappear? Yeah, that does. Not magical. That does. He right, explodes that out of that net. Yep. Uh, and he's just going to move into range with this guy. This guy is going to turn around and go ahead and hit him with a spear for three. Um, actually, to check. Yeah, and then this one is going to go ahead and attack Jim Jar because Jim Jar fucked him up. Jim Jar takes three. Um, one at you, Drotar. Spear attack, fourteen. Negative. And cars for a ten. That also misses. What is that bullshit? I mean, Spirit. for an eleven, uh, but. Bupado is Oh actually nope yeah eleven but uh this one is going to Bupado is going to go ahead and pull his sword free. No he's not. Cars, you are up. Finish cutting the thread of rope that is left. Go for it. Since it's so like weak, could I like not spend a, an attack action to draw to snap out of it? Nope. Oh, well, I continue cutting out. That there you go. Too easy. There you go. Uh, you free yourself of this net. Yeah. Um, Drosh. Uh, I'm gonna meander northwestish. 
hopefully to find something, someone. Okay. Uh, do you want to bonus? I'll let you bonus action perception check. Or what's your passive? Passive's an, uh, actually, passive is 10. I'm sorry. Uh, really you, bad. you do just kind of sense, you hear like a little slapping of feet as this Kuito is like moving back and forth. Sounds like lunch meat slapping against other lunch meat. Am I sure there's a, it's a Kuitoa? It, is it like you're, in front of me? You're like, <coughs> 50% sure? It's in front of me? Is it to my yeah. left, my right? Uh, right? Below you, below you. All right, whack. That just hits. Yeah. Eleven, uh, you connect with something fleshy. Uh, um, bonus action. Uh, I thought I used my bonus action. Well, I, I just went off your passive perception. So. Oh, um, you, so I can roll with perception? If you want to. But yeah, sure. Yeah. Probably okay. should have done that before the attack. Um, yeah. Uh, so you you definitely know it's a ku- kuatoa that you hit. Okay, it works uh-huh. for me. Drotar. This fish guy is looking hopefully bad. Hopefully. Yeah, he's not looking good. Uh, I don't like how you're saying that. He's very bloody. But he's been here before. Haven't we all? He pulls out a barrel of... <laughs> A healing potion, potion made yeah. from people for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh... Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna smack her up again for fun. Oh, okay. Okay. But this for. is this is with two hands and a full vigor shake. He's gonna get ten HP back this oh. time. Mm. I said, changes. on your feet, stand. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, anything else from you? Mm-mm. Her up. Uh, I am going to while lying on my back use. Bolding Bond for the second time. Okay. And I will do this to Cars and I will do this to Drotar. Okay. Um, anything else? Nope, I have no other bonus actions. Wait, maybe that's not true. Hold on. Uh, bonus action. Yes, I will do one more thing. I'm going to reach out and touch Drotar. And with my last spell slot, I'm going to heal Drotar you for said five. You last spell slot last time. Uh, last second level spell slot. Okay. I had one more first level. Got it. Man, I don't know I if that's going to be enough, but I hope. So I have no more spell slots, except for cantrips. All right. Uh, this dude is going to go ahead and bite at you, Drotar. Why? 23. Yep. Hey, the five. Good thing I got the five. Ah. That five. <laughs> uh, so he will go ahead and unarm um, strike for another nine. On me? Yep. Oh, goody. And another unarm nope. um, strike. Wow. Ten wow. on or up. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah, I'm toast. Back you to still, zero. You're down to zero, right? Back yeah, I'm zero. down. I'm down too, yep. Okay. Uh, Stool, Prince Durendil is going off on... And those are lethal, not non-lethal? Um... Yeah, he can't control the light. How many HP did you have? Don't worry about it. Well, like, so if the bludgeoning is what knocks you down, if the lightning... If you had more HP than the lightning damage, then it's non-lethal. If you had less HP than the lightning damage, then it's lethal. I got 10 damage and I had 10 HP. Okay, so you are unconscious but non lethal. What about you, Drotar? Uh, 
So say that again. I had two HP. Okay, so you took lethal damage. Okay. Um. But uh, this one is going to go ahead and attack Prince Durendil. That hits for three. Um, the other one, Cars. That misses you. Oh, you're flanked, so that hits you for six. And we'll say Jim Jar for seven. Please. Um. Bupido has to pull his sword away. He fails. Cars, what you doing? All right. Let's kill this dude. Come on, Cars. Come on, baby. Ah. Ah, there we go. There you go. The hits. You see him kind of like fall to one fishy knee, stand back up, looks at you, fish blood streak down his face kind of green green fish blood I fart on him <clears throat> uh frosh um I this kotoa in front of me has not moved as far as i can tell right as far as you can tell yeah all right bonus action raging come on wild magic urging please give me a six two, two. You start glowing and have vision again. Unfortunately not. Um, smack. Uh, what does the two do? That just misses. That is unfortunate. He doesn't have uh, super nope, I went down. ghetto bless. Oh, went oh down. So my ghetto bless is down as well? Yep. Uh, Drotar, death save. Alright, I will end my turn. I am curious, what does a 2 do on that table? I can teleport 30 feet to any space I can see <laughs> every oh. turn. <laughs> so the best uh, one is until you're fighting in the underdark. I can't teleport anywhere. That is really unfortunate. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. He is going to make packs like you, cars. That is a 15... I believe that misses you, right? Yeah. Jeez, this guy uh, sucks. 22. And a 15 again. So, Cars, you take 5 points of damage. What do you... Uh, the 22? Yeah. So, Prince Rundell. Oh, he missed both. Cars, what's your class? Uh, fighter. Well, what kind? Uh, uh Eldr what is it? Abjuration? Eldritch or, Knight. Uh, Eldritch, Eldritch Knight. Knight? Yeah. Prince Dorindel's doing work. We need to give that dude some support. Yeah. Alright. Uh, Kuto is going to stab at Prince Dorindel. Five. There. Um, and one is going to stab at you, Vrosh. For eight and one at cars for sixteen. Both of those, I believe, miss. Bubido is going to run up to support Miss Rendell. Okay. And hit him with a short sword. Ooh, Bubido. Let's go. Oh, damn. This Kuatoa. Damn. Uh, cars, you are up. Rinse and repeat. Come on, you fucking turd. Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> Any movement, anything like that? Nope, I'll provoke. Brosh. All right. Um, you know, you know what? Um, save face. Go for it. Might not be enough. Uh, what is it? You have one ally in front of you. Right near you. Thirty feet. And it's a plus how many? You get one, plus one. Maximum of five. Uh, oh, well, let's see. 30 feet from you. You have one. Just Grosh is within 30 feet of you. 
Hold on. Hmm. I got stool, I got... We've got allies that he can see. It doesn't say they have to be conscious or not. Oh, but you're like saving fate. I mean... I don't know. We're not threatening. We're we're face Hold on. down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. <sighs> That's I feel a tough like one, I feel like this is as written. I feel as like written. this is DM calls it, and we figure it out after session. Uh, I mean, to be fair, as written, reading it, it is. I don't think it'd be enough. I don't know his AC. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, it is just enough if you can get five. So if if it. Sure, we'll we'll do it. We'll roll with it. That's fine. Five more That's piercing. Fine. He dies. Thank Christ. Oh god. <laughs> uh, Varash. Okay. Uh, still fishy man in front of me. Thing, swing. Uh, that misses. Okay, I end turn. Drotar. Okay. Whoa. Jimjar. Succeed. Jimjar okay. runs over here. Wait, I thought you didn't. Uh, I thought yeah, you, you don't were have not to make. You don't have to make. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Jimjar. Jimjar is popping off. Wow. He kills this guy. He chose. <laughs> Extreme violence, damn. You remember that time when I said, I bet you can't crit on every single attack? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to pay up, buddy. Uh, you down. Uh, a stool. Prince Durendil is. There. You move all the way over here. This is. Movement is there. Yeah, so he just double moves to there. Uh, this Kuatoa is going to go ahead and is startled and stabs out at Prince Durendal and does hit for seven. Um, such a meat shield. Tars, you see... Uh... Yeah. Uh, you see like a red just kind of enter Prince Durendal's eyes. He gets really pissed off. I mean, bleeding heavily. Uh, everybody's down. Cars, you are up. Stabby, stabby. Go for it. Uh, is what's his name up again for my enhancement? No, probably not. Uh, no, he's not. Then that, that there's a miss. That is a miss. Uh, Vrosh. All right, same old. I guess I'll end my turn. Okay. Uh. At Drotar. That so uh, succeeded. Yep. So, oh, not twenty. I mean, Wait, you're, you're not rolling them. You're not you rolling death saves. God. Oh shit. Um, you can roll a d4 to see how long till you wake up. Uh, Fuck. Cool. Three hours. Um. So as you guys are facing off against this final Kuatoa, many of your comrades down. You see a bright, uh, flaming light uh, flash down and take out uh, the final kind of Kuatoa um, here as he just kind of crumples to the ground. You look over in the direction that you are going and you see um, a large group of Kuatoa um, kind of appear here. Um, more. They come running up um, 
and you see kind of one out in the front who has a uh, is like carrying um, a staff um, and has got some fancy like um, call it like uh, wristbands and um, uh, around his wrists um, and uh, you hear him I guess in in I guess cars you cars and Vrosh so cars you're the only one who um, initially would understand he kind of yells at uh, uh, hail, hail friends uh uh, we come in peace. But, uh, uh, can I offer assistance to some of your friends here? Yes, please. Who were those who attacked us? Um, he is going to... Okay, he is going to cast uh, Mass Cure Wounds. Oh, 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 oh shit! Um, and he'll kind of do it. He kind of like you see they kind of as you are kind of like uh, in the circle, like the other good his followers kind of like flank out around you. So like they're not trusting of you necessarily um and um but he does kind of come towards the uh center of you and he casts cast this so everybody gains um 17 hit points wow that's a fifth level spell <laughs> um so everyone comes to consciousness. Yeah, they do. How is everybody on time? I uh, probably, probably 30, less than 30 minutes remaining, ideally. Yeah, I would. I gotta go to bed soon, so I gotta get up early. Okay. Alright, I will keep this relatively short then. Um, so he says, uh, I, I am ploop, ploop, plead. Archpriest. Could you please table. type that? <laughs> you don't want to try to try to remember it. Yeah, let me. Plup plup clean. Plup Yes. I am the archpriest of the Sea Mother. Blip do vlop pla. <laughs> <laughs> Um, she has answered my prayers by delivering delivering you please, please would you help us and you will be rewarded for your service Archpriest of this name but what is she? She is the, the sea mother Were these not also followers of the sea mother who attacked us? But unfortunately, they were not. You see, uh, the uh, inhabitants of Slob Slob Dob have lived in uh, harmonious service to the will of the Sea Mother for some time. But uh, you know, there were occasional visionaries who would stir up trouble, and but there's nothing of any great concern. However, a few weeks ago, my my own daughter, Pop Blip Do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Take your time. Sound no, it out. This is gold. I love Sound it. Sound it out. Keep going. This is amazing. <laughs> um, blop Blip Pod. My own daughter, Blop Blip Pod, experienced a powerful vision of Lemmy Goo Goon Goon. The. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Limu Gugu Goon. The deep. <laughs> Sorry. I'm <laughs> crying. The deep uh -huh. father. 
Limagoogoon? Limagoogoon. Um, and has proclaimed him the new god of our people. Um, she has backed up her claims with a great increase in her magical power, and uh, many new followers have flocked to her. You see, we are we are now split in two, fighting amongst ourselves. They have been the the followers of the Deep Father have been making an increasing number of offerings on it altar. And so I imagine that is what they are, are hoping to capture you for. Uh, I would I would like your help. You get us back safely and outfit us. You got it. Well I can I can see what what we can do. I you know you see the the arch priest that of the deep fall my daughter. Um Blop Blip Blod has um he requires humanoid sacrifices, and you would represent a prize collection in that regard. I, I would like to use you as bait. I will offer you as a token of peace and reconciliation to get closer to Blop Blip Blip, blip Plod. And uh, I want you to be infiltrators and up disrupt this upstarts ritual, allowing my true believers of the Sea Mother to cut off the head of this cult. What do you say? Hold on, I'm... Hold on. You'll give us supplies and weapons and materials? I do not have great wealth of my own, but you can potentially trade for things within the city of Slop-Lop... slop lop slop doop slop a base And, uh, Throw in some healing potions, you got a deal. They're few and far between, unfortunately. Of course. But we will see what we can do. I can maybe give you, if you, if you wish, any, any coin that you find on those that have attacked you. I will allow you to keep to, to uh, try to proffer yourself supplies. This is what I have. What? That actually looks pretty good. Good thing Ramon uh, has uh, dyslexia. What language is the Archpriest speaking currently? Under common. Is Stool conscious? He is now. So if uh, and has I he done the spore you, thing? If you recognize that he, if he recognizes that, and all of you can see, um. So who can not? So he will touch Vrosh and uh, Drotar. You do not speak under common. Uh, speak? No, I can see just fine, but I cannot speak under common. Okay, so he'll touch you and Vrosh and cast tongues on the both of you. Um, sorry, where is he touching me now? Uh, he's kind of like with me on the square. Like, as he's as he's <laughs> talking to you, he never stops moving. He and you see like his followers, they kind of like rotate around you in a circle, and he's constantly moving through you and talk as he's as he's talking to you. I have questions um, if if he's willing to listen. I, yeah, I have questions also. Sure. Uh, Lee Magugun, the Deep Father, sounds like he is new. Or he has gained recent power? What changed that caused this? I do not know. My daughter, blah, 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 experienced a powerful vision, as I said. Yeah, but have we interacted with Lieb Gugun in the past, or is he a new deity that just appeared out of the blue? I have not heard of the Deep Father myself. Okay. But the Sea Mother keeps us safe and, and free of... She is a jealous goddess. Uh, why does the Deep Mother not require human or humanoid sacrifices? What does she require? She requires offerings that the water gives to us. To that point, uh, I want to reach into the bag and I want to offer the Grell tentacle and I want to say... We offer this to the Sea Mother. 
Thank you. And we hope that this will continue to give us her blessings. And I lay the growl tentacle in front of him. He picks it up and consumes it. Okay. Gross. Better with sauce. I, I was going to eat that, but okay. Uh, you seem well supplied already. We indeed are not. Does. Oh, God. I'm not even going to try. Come in to slob it up as my guests or prisoners, but. Does that give us protection? Uh, to a very limited degree. It should allow you to move around the city under some supervision. However, should you cause any trouble, there are hundreds of Kuatoa, and it would not go well for you. Can he... I'm sorry, I don't know. And I'm, you I'm will not... not be allowed to leave once you have entered. I'm not going to try to pronounce this dude's name. Uh, can you tell us how many we might be up against in this cult? How many have been swayed from... All I require of you is the means to get closer to her. And then my followers will do the same and do will do everything that is required to cut off the head of this cult. Do you intend to kill your own daughter? I will do what is required of me by the She-Mother. Can she not be brought back to the She-Mother's fold? The Sea-Mother's fold? Limagungum seems to have a deep hold on her and has provided her great magical abilities. Who is Lima Gungung again? The deep, the deep Father. The Father. That's the name of the Deep Father? Okay. I mean, it's typed for you. Oh, it's okay. right there. Oh, you expect me to read? Oh, man. I mean, there's it's a like, lot of consonants next to each other. Do we, do I, we I, have... I want to look at him and I want to say, like, my deity, Angarath, she is in constant conflict but unity also and i please advise you to find a peaceful solution to this he <clears throat> looks at you pieces for the week a kind of like the look of a elderly person looking at a younger person who just said something stupid but they feel <laughs> sorry for them about it he says, if a peaceful solution was possible, do you not think I would have come to one already with my daughter? Well, we're talking about the divine here. And it's because we are talking about the divine that it is so important that we cut off the head of this cult. I'll start looting the corpses. I'm going to so say, say, can we, um, I guess I kind of forget when stool does his spore thing, is it everyone in the spores can hear the thoughts or can we like pick people? He is not doing the spore thing right now. No, no I'm just, he can pick. Okay. Can I, can I tap stool and try to do like a very small close circle thingy? That we can, you know, among ourselves, think freely. Sure. Um, at least for now, we have to go along with this plan. I think... 100%. Yeah. I think we try to get as much freedom as we can for when we're in the city. And we need to try to gauge which faction has the most power. And fortunately or unfortunately, we don't have any Kuata in our midst. So we can hopefully make that decision unbiased. Whether it's this cult, the upstarts, or whether it's the followers of the Sea Mother we can figure out who is likely to be the strongest and most likely to prevail. And we can ally ourselves accordingly when the time is right. 
I feel fairly biased in that if what he said is true and one side doesn't want humanoid sacrifices and the other does. <laughs> I agree that, with you, and I'm going to hinge on if what he said is true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nothing is as it seems down here, so we must be skeptical. We can gather our information. And when the time is right, we ally ourselves with the strongest and go from there. I agree. I think we fall under his protection, get freedom of, get the um, freedom within the city, and then from there we outsource our, or we outfit ourselves and then move from there. As much freedom and protection as we can get will be valuable. Yes. kind of turn back to the archpriest and say we accept your deal how much time do we have uh we will commence on the morrow there is they are holding the ritual tomorrow sorry i need some beer <laughs> are you actually doing the beer thing they are holding the ritual tomorrow. He is. And um, that is when we will strike. Okay. Yeah, we can't really change it, so let's do it. Let's go. Right. And so, kind of at the center of a Kuatoa escort, you make your way towards... Slap at a base. Slap at a base. That's where we'll end. All right. I will stop recording. I guess. Man, you guys skip.